Hi everybody, Jo here again. Thanks for joining me today. I hope you're feeling well and I hope things are going okay. We're going to have some fun today. A few of you have got in touch and said that you'd like some sort of spring type card that would fit a lot of different occasions. So, you know, we've got Mothering Sunday coming up, but also there's a lot of nice sort of spring craft fairs. I know a lot of you make cards for um, things like that and for, for, for charities, which is lovely. And so you just wanted a sort of generic design that would fit the bill. So I thought we'd have a little bit of a play. And my idea is I've got a seven by seven square card blank here. And I've also got a piece of multi fairies card, five and a half inches. And recently we've done a few, we've done especially DL cards with the along the edge design. And the other week we did the corner to corner design. So I thought I'd sort of mix it up a bit and come up with a new design and, and just focus um, just my idea is on one corner but let's see how it goes incorporating stamps stencils inks this is very much sort of like a, a bit of a play a bit of a work in progress so we'll see how it goes now what i'm thinking is i've got my two bits of card and my card blank here now the next thing i like to think of is colors so recently we did um, a beautiful heart design, if you remember, and um, in fact, I've got one here. This was the one we did that we added into our journal and we used the lovely pink and green together. So I thought, let's just carry that on. I quite liked that combination. So we're going to use lime punch and confetti. That's what I'm thinking. And that's in the elements. And then for our stamping, what I've done, I'm not quite sure what I'm going to use, but I've looked out almost like my green and my pinks in my Versafine Claire. So for my green, I found Verdant. I use that a lot. And Shady Lady. Well, Shady Lane. You know, obviously that's a favourite. But also I've looked out, I've got a darker green rainforest and I've not really used that. So I may dab into that, I'm not sure. But they're my three if I should need. And then the pinks, I've got Charming Pink. But also I've got this lovely um, Purple Delight, sort of pinky tone. So I may use that for a deeper pink. I'm, I'm not, we'll see how we go. But I've got those on my desk ready. So I'm going to start with my Lime Punch. And I'm just going to add some colour. And again, I've got my, my green stencil brush. As you know, I have a stencil brush, one for each colour tone. And if I'd been using a dark green on here, I would just clean it on Mr Inky Binky. So I need a bit of a kitchen towel to lean on. Oh, look at that. Looks like somebody's been chewing it, doesn't it? I promise I haven't. I don't think Eric has either. Now, I just want to add some colour to one of the corners. So we'll start off in the actual corner here. And because I want it deeper in the corner, every time I ink up, look, I'll go to the corner, but then I'll move slightly further each way. Again, start in the corner. And that way the colour will build up in the corner more. And I want it sort of light. So if I go up to that edge and up to that edge, again, start in the corner. It's a great way of practising your blend in this. And we'll sort of, when we've got less ink on, We'll go in sort of a bit of a, a nice sort of shape across there from corner to corner. Let's just build up. And all the time I'm taking some off in the lid, look. And we'll build up that lovely colour there. Let's have a look. Yes, I like that. Now that's the way it's going to go on my card. But obviously for me I find it easier to work that way. So I'm going to get my actual card blank now. going to put it here and I'm going to do the same on here so start in the corner and this I'm doing direct on my card blank I could use a piece of card but I, I'm thinking let's just see if we can go direct to the card blank you know and just save on that that one layer that one piece of card start in the corner now, just a matter of interest, I'm just going to bring this in and see how well, that's nice. A little bit deeper, I think. And I know this probably looks upside down, but I just find it easier. I'm right-handed, and for me, 
I always have to craft in a way that feels comfortable because at the end of the day we enjoy what we do you know it's not hard work we actually enjoy it so we want it as nice and almost easy as possible yeah so if I pick it up and pop it the right way so this is what I'm thinking and I like that so we'll pop the lid on that and then I'll we'll just get my spritzer bottle now again Obviously at home you would get a piece of card and do your smooshing. We had a reminder on the um, lovely old technique of smooshing and you would do that. But I am aware that sometimes my videos do go on a little bit. So excuse me, but I will clean that up as I say at home. And normally when I'm here on my own and I don't have Eric and your lovely cells for company, I would smoosh that in my journal actually. Now what I'm going to do now so we're going to come in with the confetti so we'll pop that ready and we'll get our nice confetti brush and I'm going to put this exactly as I want it I'm just going to turn it for me and then I'm going to get a stencil and for this one I've chosen ambience and what's lovely about these big eight by eight stencils is I know and I think I'm gonna to have to turn this like this that this will fit right across my whole work which is lovely and again just spend your time and for some reason I just want it that way don't ask me why now you could do these two separately but I'm thinking let's just do them together so I'm just going to check that's exactly now you could tape it down with low tack tape Lavinia have a lovely low tack tape but you know what we're just going to hold it so I'm going to come in with the confetti and again I'm going to start in the corner but nice and light hold your stencil brush nice and light and just think of tickling through that stencil and I'm starting in the corner where I want it deeper but let's have a little look oh that's pretty just need a little bit more there and then gently gently I'm going to work my way we'll do this edge first and we'll just come right along the edge lift it up and have a look yeah that's pretty now I've got less ink on my brush so I think I can come a little bit further up here now and I'm hoping it'll just give me that nice almost pink glow yeah that's pretty I like that so I'm just going to move my hand a little and again just gently gently start in the corner and just work my way up this edge and then onto the green here and then when I've got less let's just see if we can take a little bit here into that white space if I lift it up oh yeah I'm not sure if you can see a little bit more there I'm going to take it off all together and I'll show you there's probably a bit of shadow so I do apologize right So if we lift that up, look, if I turn that round. Now, I think that is so pretty. And for me, you know, if you needed a quick card, my idea is we're going to do some stamping on here. But you could just stamp a sentiment there, you know. A few little splats of ink and a sentiment, maybe a butterfly. That would look stunning. And I love cards that when we make them together, we can stop with the design there if we wish. I just think that's beautiful. I'm really happy with this and do you know what I love it when we're creating this design together and I do think this is something we could do again but what we'll do let's just take that off see I like that as well I'm thinking you could even use that but let's just add on the inside a little bit of stencil work now I'm just going to get a piece of copy paper because I don't want to go over this side but let's just add, while well, we've got our stencil here. Let's just add a little bit in this bottom corner and then we'll have a lovely cohesive design and the whole thing will look beautiful. And, and it just, if you get your in, just a little bit of ink on the insert, you know, a little bit higher up here and here and it will make... Look at that. 
get rid of that. There we go. So the insert is ready. Again, a stamp sentiment there. And that just makes all the difference. Right. And I'll spritz my stencil and add it to my journal later. So let's add some stamping. And what I've done is I've got quite a few of my stamps out. And I love to do this. Um, just in readiness. I've got an idea of which stamps I'd like to use. And I'm going to start with this lovely stamp, Jip. And, and this is such a useful stamp for something like this. And I'm just going to turn. So we're working on our topper now. And we're going to start with our lightest colour. So it's the verdant. And I'm thinking this Jip is going to give me a bit like when you're flower arranging. Now, I have to say, I've never done a flower arranging course. So I'm assuming here, <laughs> this is what I think. You would go for your almost like your, your foliage structure first. And that's the way I'm going with my design. So what I'm thinking is we're going to have some structure. And this lovely jip is going to give me the shape and the structure here. I love this. You can really make... Look, if we just angle it here, and then we'll add one more, just coming off here. And again, this will give us the structure of the design. You know, don't always just think of the pretty florals. I think the, the structure of a design is so important too. There we go. So hopefully we've got that shape and that's what we're going to work on. So we'll give that a bit of a wipe before we put it back on its acetate. And then I'm thinking the wild summer flower. So let's come in with the charming pink. Maybe we could mix it up. Let's see if we pop the charming pink on the flower head. Can we put the verdant? on the stem let's have a bit of a play yeah i like that what do you think i think we'll go with that now this will be interesting yeah that's the pink and then that's the oh that's the green let's see and i'm thinking let's have one there yeah you see i like i like that I've got the pink flower head and then that green just almost disappears into the foliage. That's pretty, that. So let's have another two of these. I think that would balance nicely. So if we come in with the pink on the head and the green just on the stem. And it doesn't matter if we catch a little bit. So let's have one of these. Let's just alter the angle a bit. We don't want it to be too... Yeah pretty then one down here pink and maybe not have the whole of this one on maybe just catch I don't want it to look too if I did it there I think it might be too symmetrical so let's put it there I was gonna no I'm gonna stop I think I think that's we could always come back but I'm thinking let's stop there with that one because what I've got is I've got this one called Dandelion 2. Now this one, I don't see it used very much. And I must admit, I do think what's lovely when you're doing a design like this. Obviously the wild, wild summer flowers are just some of my favourites and I use them a lot. But it's nice to look for stamps that you don't use very often. And this Dandelions 2 is one of those. But I'm thinking the heads would just come in there. Yeah. I think that'll give me a bit of, so I'm thinking this one. And let's come in with the purple delight, just add a bit of oomph. Now I'm hoping it's not too purple. I'm hoping we've got like a pinky purple sort of look here. And I'm just going to ink up the flowery bits, just to see. And don't worry about this because we're going to put something there. We're going to add more foliage. I just want this. Yeah. 
and that just fills that space for me. That's lovely. So again, so that one was Dandelions 2. If you've not got that, do, do look that up because it's such a lovely stamp. And as I say, if you look, it can be used, you know, on its own. It looks lovely if you do a spotlight around it. Fabulous. So another stamp I don't use very often is this Bluebells. I know we've got the English Bluebell, which is a lot larger, but this little Bluebell stamp, I want a bit of, um, it's a silhouette, and I just want a bit of depth, a bit of solid stamping. So I'm thinking this one's going to be perfect. And I think we'll come in with our Rainforest. Let's see, I think this is quite a deep colour. And I think... Just in the space here, look. And what I'm going to do is actually put a clump of these with first and second generation. So they're actually going to grow in a in a clump. And I think that would look better than putting them sort of, you know, soldiers in a row. It would look too contrived. So I'm thinking, let's have three little... I know certainly in my garden, things seem to grow in, in, in clumps in areas. sort of less formal. I know you can have formal stamp um, planting, obviously, can't you? But I think, and you know what? Just because I can, I'm just going to put a hint of that there. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's looking really pretty. And I love this colour. You know, if you're anything like me and collect, every time I put an order in with Tracy, I um, order a different Versafine clay, a different colour that I haven't got. And it's nice to use them. You know, when we buy these things, it's important to make sure we do use them as well. So something like this is fabulous. And I'm really loving this pink and this green. So last one, my favourite, the field grass. And I think we might go in with our Shady Lady for this. I think I just want a bit of wispiness. A little bit of... I don't want to overcook it. We don't want a pizza. So let's just see if we have... What I'm thinking is sort of here. If we just do a little bit of first, second and third generation. Just for that lovely wispy. A little bit here and here. As I say, we're not going to overcook it. I don't want to spoil it. I really love the way, and this stamp is perfect, look, if you just want to catch the head. If I show you, look, and it's just that, it makes it look like it's in the distance. And like I say, my idea with this, to answer the questions from a few of you, is that this would make a lovely um, Mother's Day card. Do you know what, you could even use it for a wedding card. I mean, a, a get well card, a thank you card. I think it just opens up so many possibilities with this. So I'm just going to blot it. Remember, Versafine Claire, it's a slower drying ink. So we always need to blot it. But if we bring our card blank in, Now look how pretty that looks. And I love the way we've got our white up here. And that's why it's important. Look, we don't want any dirty finger marks. So we'll glue that. But you know me, I need our belt and braces. So we're just going to have some tape and then our bippity boppity glue. And you know I struggle saying that, so I have to think, I have to slow down before I say it. But I like to use the two, as I say, I'm a belt and braces girl. So I will have wiggle time with my glue. And my tape will stick while my glue dries and then my glue will be just perfect on here. Now I may just put my head over because I just want that perfect. Oh, did you see it twisted then? 
it did it. Did it on purpose, didn't it? There we go. As soon as I said perfect, it moved just to prove it could. And then try and get in the habit with your kitchen towel. Just as I say, we want this, this lovely white area and we really don't want any mark. Now look at that. I think I'm so pleased with this. I'm certainly going to be making some more of these. Now I think we'll just add a sentiment to this one and I'm going to use one of my lovely beautiful stickers now which one though you, I always go quiet sorry I'm sorry I do go quiet I think moments like these I'm going to be good today and chew straight away because you know it takes me ages so if I get my scissors and we just have a look and I'm thinking that will look beautiful over here and I'm not going to edge it I'm going to leave it just like that a couple little finishing tricks we're going to add some stickles and this is the gorgeous lime green so remember it's a bit rude also mine's coming to its end I need a new one so it can spit a little so I'm going to pop it on my mat there so it doesn't spit on my work and I'm just going to get myself my lovely empty water brush and this one is my stickles brush so it's just dry and I'm just going to literally dab on my stickles exactly where I want it on the field grass look and this way as I say for me my stickles lasts longer and also it won't spit at my work and I just find Sometimes it does that, as I say, it's a bit male, it can be a bit rude, but shh, don't tell. So sorry to any of you males watching, I'm sure you don't spit at your work. We'll just add a little bit in the background here. And again, I'm just putting it exactly where I want it. And then finally, I'm going to come in with my sparkly, as you know, this yellow sparkly posca, just totally my favourite. clean that up and just to add now again if you're not into your splats you could leave it like this I think that's beautiful but for me I just want to add a little bit just here and going on to the actual card blank I think it's nice to incorporate your design onto that card blank up in this corner look and then just the odd one here just over that white space I don't want to get rid of the white space but I just want to make it look part of the design now I think that is stunning I'm proud of that what do you think certainly as I say I'm going to be doing this again now I have got my tin with my little butterflies in and unfortunately I haven't got any I need a pink and a green one don't I but let's just see pretend this is pink and green I think if you like the little mini flutter by and if you have a tin like me I need to colour I'm thinking colour one of these in pink and green and add that and that would be beautiful but I quite like it without so again choices you can leave it like this or you could add a couple of these gorgeous little flutter bys. And then finally, to finish off, don't forget your envelope look. I've been very cheeky and already stamped up my envelope. I've used Versafine Claire, so it's permanent ink. So obviously it can go in the post. Posca is acrylic paint, so it's permanent when dry. And I've just added a few little Posca splats. So to me, if I was receiving that, do you know, I, th I would be so chuffed. And as I say, all we need, little sentiment in the middle or a handwritten verse. How beautiful would that be? So I hope you've enjoyed that. We need to think of a name for this. Calling it the corner technique sounds a bit funny, doesn't it? So what can we... We need to think of something. So any ideas, let me know. But please just have fun with it. And I'm thinking all the different colour combinations we can use, all the different stamps we can use. I mean, I had so many on my desk. I did get the, the flora set, I thought that would work, but obviously I didn't have any room for it, so maybe I'll do my next one using the flora set. 
Anyway, you just have fun with it. And please do share your work because we all love to inspire each other. Anyway, enjoy the rest of your evening. You take care, look after yourselves and just have fun. Maybe send somebody a card just because, for no other reason, not because it's the birthday, but just because and just put a little message in. Sending them a hug or sending them good wishes just because she can. That would be lovely. See you again next week. Take care, everybody. Love and hugs from me. Bye for now.